the plate. Something will say, go. And when you go, behind you, something happened. That the work of angel does. You have seen when you move your leg, something drops. It could hurt you. But you got the angel who's be aside to wash off over your life. It does its work. I know people could not believe that the angel can work it for you. The angel has been made for you. Only one person will be made in image of God. It's only you sitting here. Angel was not be made in image of God. Angel was be made that he must work for you. It's between God and you that the work he does. You know that? Eh? It's not one who see the angel who must panic. No. One who see the angel must know, yes, this is my worker. He's working for me. You are bigger than the angel. You know that? <laughs> you do not know. You do not know. <laughs> I know he's surprised. But only angel can be working for you if you, you are partner of Jesus, or you follow God's principles, and God signed. Like you see, when a mutuna, when a big boss, they put a bodyguard around you. Are you getting there? They put bodyguards around you. But you, you don't need to be a big boss. You only need to be a Christian. That God must put a bodyguard for you. I hope you so understand. Are you together? And that, he does not need education. He does not need money. He does not need anything. Only what you do is to become a Christian. Can you make that? Make that? Only what you need to do is to become a when you become a Christian, not a church goer. People think when they go to church, they come to church, they are Christian. No. You're only increasing the number of the place. Like the place that they can't remember. She. But a true Christian, you have bodyguard. Your bodyguard, the angels. Even when you're about to die, they will tell you, set your house in order. You're about to die. I told you what happened to my father. He knew my father died on Monday, but on Saturday my father knows that he's going to die. So, is the way how God operates with you. You, if you have the good relationship with him, he brings bodyguards. He brings angels that work for you. More you are closer to God, more they increase the number of angels. You understand? Are you together? That you see when they increase the number of angels, other people like us, we do why he's seven. I'm not holding, I don't need to stand here and going up there that investing in what is going to the youth. No. When I stand here, the light that is in me goes, I mean, says anything darkness that is entered, even those in the parking lot, he able to send the angel to search. Now, this I'm telling you, it does not need money. It does not need education. It only needs your heart to be connected. And it does not need a prophet. He does not need a pastor. He only needs you alone. He does not involve husband and wife. He does not involve parents and children. He only involves you. You alone. 
you understand that? That you see even Abraham, because of the relationship of God, God talked to you, him alone to say, take Isaac and sacrifice him to me. But God did not talk to Eve. Sorry, God did not talk to Sarah. Why is the amount of relationship Abraham developed with God that God can appear to him and tell him? Do you know you can be the husband and wife in bed? God can visit you, can visit your wife, but the husband does not know. God can visit the husband, but the wife does not know. But they are together. That I'll be repeating every day that the relationship that you have with God is not the same relationship with your partner I have. Everybody has his own relationship. Do you know that? Huh? You can be a husband and wife, but you have different number of angels. Maybe the wife has more angels, even more muscles angels than the husband. Because she is more closer to God than the husband. I hope you understand. Though that Christianity, like I found many homes, people point fingers. Oh, this woman does not want to pray. This man does not want to pray. No. When it becomes prayer, it becomes individual matter. Hello? Are you together? When we come prayer, is eh? individual matter. <laughs> Don't force even your children to pray. Teach them how to pray. Don't force them. Are you together? Teach them to pray, but you cannot force them to pray because they cannot be closing eyes like this. They're not praying. <laughs> Are you getting there? You see, close the eyes, but before you say amen, you're snoring. Oh. And you think he's praying. The relationship of God is individual matters. But why you need partners? It's only you must pray for your partners that God must touch his heart. But you, individual, you cannot change human being heart. Can you hear me? You can't. You cannot change human being heart. Until God himself be involved, that the heart can be. That you see, the Bible says, the first will be the last. And the last to be the first. I know most of the time women, the first people go to church. But the first people live in the church. But men, when they decide to go to church, maybe it's a coward man. But a true man, when they decide to go to church, it's difficult to move him from church. Because before they believe, they observe. They take their time. You think they are not following, but they do follow. That even sometimes they can say, please, I'm sick, use anointed water, pray for me. It's not because they are not know. You knew. But you see, taking his time to understand. They don't go like wind, like women. They take their time. It's not they don't know. They know very well. But they're taking that. They're analyzing. They have time to analyze. It's also good. Because women are giving us very wrong food. With not analyzing. They're taking us everywhere. All over the world. After two days. Yeah, not displaced. This place they're asking time. Don't, let's go. When we go there. This place they're asking contribution. Let's go. When God is there. <laughs> Hallelujah. 
that you see them sometimes they don't want to move they say okay go I'll come believe me Christianity is individual matters I have a big testimony one man who did not believe in Christianity But this day, on my surprise, he does not come here. But the wife, before he knows what is going on, is miss. The man is 24-7 following us in Facebook. But he doesn't come here. But he knows everything that's going on here. Even the one who tell the wife, ah, this is happening. But he never be here. Many people have their own way they believe. It doesn't mean people must come and sit down here, no. Other people are far. Like right now we're talking about many people are watching us. Even the people that don't believe that they cannot they can go to church. They are sitting down, they are watching. And uh, understanding what we're talking about. It's not going to church that can make you to become a Christian is about your heart that you decide to move forward with Christ. But most of the people go to church. They are not yet ready to decide. They only go because they are in trouble. Yes, God can finish your trouble, but the devil is still waiting to put you in more trouble. And the way to maintain is about the word of God, the amount of the word of God that have invested in you that can be able to sustain your troubles. Sustainability has given us problems. Sustainability. That, I mean, you know that you have been a Christian for so quite long, even troubles, even difficult, even challenges, even rejection, sickness. As a loving when my doctor was explaining to me, ah, can I when your eyes are turned up there, you cannot breathe. You have gone. I said, he knew I have gone. But thank God for my wife, he get me pictures in that particular time to keep as evidence. Yes, the doctor tried to hit the heart. It's not them bringing me alive. Only God told me, go back. I mean, because I knew, I mean, three, I mean, 3.1 GB, I mean, this one, there's nothing you can do. You are gone. I mean, it's like people like us men. I mean, women are very stronger than us. But we knew, even when I was very sick, my heart was not troubled. I was ready to go. I have no stress. That even the, I mean, when the nurse come to check my BP, they find my BP is normal. Ah, they're wondering, what kind of person like this? Even the one they tell me they had problem, when me, I cannot even wake up in my bed. Urinate there, everything there. But when they come, I touch their hand. I release like this, they fly out of the room. Boom. I met all of them. They told me we we'll never see a wish like you. I remember one day I met them. They said, I mean, they brought again the story. They said, We knew that you have gone. I said, Yes, I knew that I have to go. It's good to die and the first body to die, and God give you a new body. The sinful body must die. Can you hear me? The sinful body must say that we are able to conquer this world. That even Jesus died. 
There's a great power when you come out of death. Because you are being renewed. When we are not able to crucify our flesh, it's going to be a very big challenge that you see a camel is bigger than a, a cow, is able to enter in the eyes of a needle. Is it? But you, you cannot ever. But you are smaller than the camel. What is the meaning? When we cannot able to kill our physical body, is very challenging us to grow spiritually. What is the meaning? Because our, especially our eyes, is the first evil to us. Because he sees and he sees everything that can move you to start envy and jealous goes in. Especially if you cannot able to make it. But if your body dies, yes, your eyes is open, but you don't see the things of the world. You only see beyond what you can see. That is the spirit. And you can be able to sustain your life to move you further. In our physical body, we are not able to please God. A body is the first trap that we have. Only those are able to crucify the flesh. I do not tell you crucify the flesh. Don't go to yourself there and hammer yourself in that tree. I'm not talking about that. Is your eyes must open but blind to the things of the world. Are you together? Blind to the things of the air. But the things of the world are made for us. It's not wrong to have it. But it's very wrong to force them into your life. Are you getting there? It's not wrong to have them. But it's wrong you to force them into your life. What is making us trouble? We do force. And that it cannot stay. But when the time comes, that that is the right time to receive. Except from the source. Those things, it will remain. Because they have a guarantee. Regardless of how long it takes, I have a testimony from Mama Tapen told me, you know, I applied the plot 20 years ago. Waiting. When the plot was finishing in Gaboron, my heart was saying, Gaboron is finished. But because God said you're going to have the place in Gaboron, you're forgotten, but the code will come and get the plot. Now you have a plot in Gaboron. Is that this? You have it, is it? Yeah. So that God made, you know how many years? 20 years. But when God wanted to have it, regardless how many lists are in the line, it will jump them until to give it to you. Because it's yours. Though we do preach with example, though it doesn't matter how long it's taking. Can you hear me? It doesn't matter how long it's taking. But if God says so, just relax. The day you are forgetting, even when they call you, you say, ah. so I say, ah, who's that? Even don't even get the call because I don't know that call. But you never know that call, that the call will take you out of bondage. Those who have trusted in God, they are not in the heart. They do relax. But as they're relaxing, they still strengthen their faith with the whole might. You know, emergence comes where you even don't have time to say Jesus. You know that? Huh? You know, emergence comes 
We don't look able to say the name of her. Just Jesus. But because your prayer banking, your prayer banking, even if you don't say it, it comes to save you. But most of the time, we empty all the prayers. After getting, we go and relax, waiting for another trouble comes. You see, going to church is good, but it's not enough. Knowing the word of God, that is more than what you need. We're going to see one man in the Bible. Though he was a king, I mean, when we talk about king, when we talk about king, that shows money and everything is there. And these the people does not believe in God. Because everything is easy for them. Surrender them. But this man, though he was a king and wealth, he did not forget who he was God in her life. First of all, he remembered that it's him made him to become a king. You know, only God can make you to become a king. You know that? It's not about your cleverness. Only God can allow you to become a king. Turn of me quickly to the book of Second King. And this day I'm speaking all the languages all over the world. Derua. Second King chapter twenty. Derua chapter twenty. I read I start verse 1 in those days Ezekiel become sick and was a point of death the prophet Isaiah the son of Amos went to him and said this is what says the Lord Put your house in order because you are going to die. You are not going to recover. Ezekiel turned his face to the wall and prayed to the Lord. Says, Remember me, O Lord, how I have walked before you, faithful and with a wholehearted devotion, and have done what is good in your eyes. And Ezekiel wept bitterly. Before Isaiah, the prophet has left the middle court. The word of God came to him. Go back and tell Ezekiel, the leader of my people. This is what says the Lord, the God of your father David. I have heard your prayer and have seen your tears. I will heal you on the third day from now. You will go up to the temple of the Lord. I will add 15 years to your life and I will deliver you and this city from the hand of the king of Assyria. I will defend this city for my sake. And for the sake of my servant, David. Hallelujah. Ezekiel was a king. 
Even God, see, remember him, the leader of my people. Though he has everything, but one thing, though he was a king, he did not forget who made him to become a king. He didn't forget who made him become a, a king. He was devoted. Give him himself 100%. So, as a king, in a busy time, but he's still remembering that he have to do God's work. And he was giving time himself to go do God's work. That the first things we are suffering here today. People have no time to do God work. They only have time to make money. And even when they make money, they end up in a depths. They end up in a squirrel. People have no time for God. Even to carry, even right now, other people could not come because they have carried a lot of work from work. They have no time. That is even one time I'm going to be usher myself and everything to myself because me, I have time for God. Even when I was doing business, I was having time for God. When I devoted myself for six years going to prison to preach and at 7.30 I must be at the gate of prison. I have my witness sitting here. But I was doing business. Normally in business, you must be there. Follow your people. But me, I said to myself, this business does not belong to me. 7.30, I'm there at the gate of prison. I go in. Many times, I will stay in prison until half twelve. When they're going for lunch, that the time I'm leaving the prison. What kind of business can sustain it like this? Does any business can stand and say like no, you can't. Because you're not at work. But me, I come to understand that there's no business can cannot sustain unless God sustained it. That I told business, you manage yourself. Me, I'm going to manage God's work. People today, they think we're standing in this building that we started. No. People know me. I have a name in prison. When I reach there, when we hear people shout hallelujah, you must know I'm in the environment. I mean, I did not have a car. I was walking, my shoes looking in the heaven. I mean, it's a long distance from Chopis village going down there. Especially the first offender is very far. But even when it's cold, I have my jacket. It's still there as a museum. I'm still keeping it. One day I wear it. 7.30, I'm there at the gate. If I delay three minutes, they say, Nakoi Chaile. They say, come late. You cannot enter. I'll go back. And tomorrow, I'll be there. Even the many people, president officer, do not like me. When is my day? They say, this man cannot enter here. Believe me. If could be you, you could be discouraged. You could run away. When I reach there, I say, this man is going to enter here. I mean, believe me. And the following week when I come, I, I did not enter. Yes, they will tell me, the prisoner say, can I, madam, so, 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 say, it doesn't like your face. You cannot enter. Believe me, this is a true story. But, I did not give up. I did not give up. When this week, they don't want me to enter because I was going round, round, not one prison. Today, I'll be in this prison. Tomorrow, I'll be in this one. After tomorrow, just like this. From Monday to Friday. Only Saturday, I'll not go there. 
But you, when you are going to work on Monday until Friday, me, I go to work to prison Monday to Friday. And now when I become rich, you become jealous of me. You did not know what time I was laboring. Is a time to sow. And you know that? And it's a time to reap. I have names. And when God told me I must be full time minister, I went to first offender prison because where I was having my student. One day I told them, okay, I went at the middle of them. I said to them, surround me and I need help. I said to them, my time has come. Now I'm going to go to full time minister. He shocked me. I said, Madam, how are you going to start? I said, I'm going. Time has come. If you don't see me, you are going to see me on television. These things you see today, is that things? I mean, long time ago, this prophecy, long time ago, I told them when I was going through, to, I mean, full time ministry, it's just recent, 2005, I told them that I'm going full time minister. But you are going to see me on television. That I was the first person to put television in prison in Botswana. Because I knew they would need television. It was a law. We cannot put television. But me, because I'm a child of God, I break the law. I put television in prison. This is the way people don't know the secret when to read. Devote yourself to God. Give God time. Give God time. Give God time. Not only just yesterday when you start a ministry, you worry. I mean, you know, until now, I did not yet worry a time. I'm still waiting for the right time to come. You must have a background, a long saving, a long saving. Many people were starting fast. I have group, group will follow me one week, two weeks. When I look, people cannot come. I said to them, from today, I don't want group. I start going alone. And I don't give up. I was not to give up. Right now, even now, when a prisoner will tell them, I just want to see, they will bring him here with chains. They say, I just want Prophet, uh, Prophet Justin to talk to me. They will bring him with chains here in this place. They bring prisoners here. And when I advise them, they go back and go in peace. It's because you, you must have a background. It doesn't mean that Today you see this building is just come from. No. You must start somewhere. Ezekiel told he was a, a king. All things was of him. But do not forget doing God. So I was having a business that I could be follow up. But I devoted myself that God is the CEO of my business. I must leave the business. I must go to do his work. Many times because I did not have a car. One time all the small cars having broke down. But I did not stop going. I wear my big jacket you want to be cold. And 7.30, I'm at the gate of the prison. When everybody, I'm around there, you can hear. When we hear, hallelujah, you must know I'm around. That's the name 
they know better me in prison. Now, what is your name? Everything that you do for God, expect to reap. Can you hear me? Everything that you do for God, expect to reap. God will never eat anything that you have done. Everything that you do, he put in the bank. There will be the right time when you are able to reap. You reap. That you see a true servant of God, he must go through all stages. I got sick, that I must know how to take care of sick people. I get broke, taste the poverty, that I must know how to take care of poor, uh, take care of uh, poor people. I must be rejected, that I know how to take care of uh, strangers. You must go through all the stages that you might learn. And when time comes, you are able to put everyone in his place. Yes. Everybody wants God to use them. For what for? Listen to me. Ezekiel, only him in the Bible who said no to God. I'm not going to die. Can you do that? Anyone can change God's statement? Does anyone can change God's statement? But Ezekiel did it. Why? It's because of the relationship he had with eh? God. When he said to him, you shall die, he said, Niara. He said to him, God, remember me. Now, you, what are I going to tell God to remember you? Hello? Because your prayer only kikupa, 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 kikupa. There's nothing in the bank. What have you done good? How have you walked? He said, look, remember Lord, I've walked before you in a Loyalty heart, whole hearted divorce them, and have done good before you. You understand the statement? You have read that paragraph very well. Though you can tell God, I've done A, B, C, D. Now, what are you going to tell God? Hello? Do you have anything to tell God to remember you? Why are you quiet? There is a problem we understand that. There is no way you can reap where you never are so. Hello? Are you together? There is no way you can reap where you never are so. You can't. Even before God, as you are living, you must work for him. Working for him, he does not need to be called a pastor. Even many pastors, they're only standing because they have a certificate. But as many people are pastors with no certificate doing the work of a pastor than the pastor that holding the certificate. Certificate does not make you to be qualified to be a pastor. It's your action. It's your action. But now because in the world, even when you go to labor, whatever, they ask you, where is your certificate? But in working for God, does not need a certificate. It's the action their heart. It's 
know the certificate that work is the action, is the heart, the works, your deed that will make you to be qualified as a servant of God. I mean, if want all of you are pastor, all of us who are going to Bible school and get the degrees and become pastors, but we are not pastors with a different. A true pastors they are not for purpose. A true pastor, they are there for actions, deeds, works. Ezekiel do where he was a king of all what God has given him. He did not forget the source. He was working for God. But as even a small God has opened for you, you are forgetting him. We are here today because of nothing. Let God open a little bit. We are not going to see you here. Busy body. Do you know that? I know you are tired, but to force yourself to come here because you have nothing. Let God open a little bit. We are not going to see you here. Busy body. That you see people have money, they don't come to church. You know that? Most of the people go to church, the poor people. Because the rich people, they think when they have money, they have everything. That you see that most of them, they are sick. They don't sleep. But you have no money, you sleep like a baby. Educated people does not go to church. They know, I mean, what they have, they have. But when the time comes, they become confused. Ezekiel, very smart, he knew, and he did not know one day this day will come. You know that? He did not know one day he will receive a message, like a very sad message. I mean, not woman being, but a prophet of God who tells you, God say you are going to die. I mean, can you reverse this matter? Can you reverse the matter? No. But if could you, ah, ah Prophet Justin could be in trouble. You could grasp me in the place. Hey, Muruti. Ntapela. Ntuse. You could be sleeping my gate. Because, I mean, you have known that you are going to die. You could sleep at the gate. Are you getting there? But it's because the revelation that he had, he left the prophet. He said, Prophet, you can go. And he don't tell the prophet what he said, Thank you very much, sir, for the message. And he, he leave the prophet he went. And after that, himself, what the meaning turning to the world? He Talk to God face to face. He said, Remember me, Lord. Do you know you can talk to God face to face? Are you sure? Why are you going to find him? Why are you going to find him? Are you getting there? But Ezekiel knew because the relationship that he had with him, he able to go there. And he just he was like this, and he turned to the wall. He said, "Remember me, Lord." Look, when even the prophet was there, he could not tell the prophet to pray for him. But himself, because the confidence that he had with his God, do you have that confidence? The confidence that he had of God, I said, "Okay, yes, you are a prophet of God. Thank you very much for the message." But you can go. Myself, I talk to God. And he able to tell God, remember me, Lord. He didn't end there. He start now stating, look, 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 look. It's not God, you not know. He knew all those things, but 
He just remember that God said, look, if I go now, who's going to take care of Justin? I mean, you even go, no one is going to cry. Maybe only your wife or your husband. But now, because no one is depending on you. But God knew that if you take Ezekiel that time, many people are depending on eh, him. Now who is depending on you? If you feed your wife, that is a command. Yourself who called him, he did not force you to marry him. If you feed your children, is you bring them here in this world. Is there any obligation? What are you doing that can be, become a bank for you? If emergency comes like that, what happened to Ezekiel is emergency. He did not know that the somebody is going to come for him. When he heard the because, I mean, they're working with the prophet. When he saw the prophet coming, he said, ah, maybe I gave a good news. He have a message for me from God. But he said, set your house in order. You shall die. You're not going to recover. I mean, I'm a witness. When I got sick, every day my specialist will tell me you're going to die. And eventually I die. But every day when he tell me I'm going to die, I say, you're lying, I'm not going to die. Even I die, I come back to life. There is us who call ourselves Christian to understand the level of relationship that we have with our God. Is the one make us to have that confidence when trouble comes, when the whole world have said you are finished, you see, say, My God is still alive. This is the way. This is the way. But since we're still going to church just for miracle, just for fun. Is not going to sustain us because if you come for sick, today you come for sick for the headache, the headache will get healed, but the stomach also is going to get sick. Is the time to devote ourselves? Especially you people are young like this. I think could be the best people to work for God. It's because you have nothing apart your school work. You can devote yourself and do God's work than to waste your time in the first book. You have a time to fast and pray because no husband is going to disturb you no wife is going to stab you. No child can be going to stab you. Everything that you do for God is not forgotten. Regardless how long it takes. I've seen many people when he put ten puller, he put with a long prayer request, he put in an envelope. He think he can buy the prayer with the ten puller. If you want to give to God, give. Your prayer request is something else. Giving to God is eh? something eh? else. First for your life to be alive today, how much money you have that can buy life? How many people have money have died today? It's not because you are alive, because you are clever. 
Your life is not because it special die. You are alive today because only God wanted to be alive. Believe me, I want to tell you a secret. Why you see me, even when I was doing business, I was doing God work, we have nothing to do. All of us who came to this world, we only came to work for God, nothing else. Can you hear me? That the secret don't know. All of us who are here in this earth, our work is to work for him. There's no other work. I mean, you see, your work that you do is only to get food to eat, but it cannot help you to have a house in heaven. Many of us here, we have no plot. Even we don't even know where the heaven is. Only the hell is waiting for you. We need to understand how God operates. Look, Ezekiel, when he had everything, I think could not bother himself doing God's work. Is it? Because they have everything. But he knew the secret. It's better to devote himself to God. And when emergency came, when emergency came, he did not bother the prophet. He stand himself face to face to God to change God. Even, even Ezekiel was surprised because we don't, middle court, what they thinking? Because middle court is a palace. Palace where the king stays. They say before, because palace is not a small place, it's a big place. Before the prophet reached outside the palace, middle court, the God message came again. I said, go back. I mean, this was very quick. <laughs> when are we praying 120 years ago? Nothing has coming out. Because of the attitude. But this man, he did not take time. Middle court, that shows he's still inside the yard. As he's going out the yard before he reached there at the gate, the word of God came again. He said, go back. Tell him that I'm going to heal him in three days. And exact after three days, the man get healed. And when God said 15 years, I mean, 15 years, I mean, only the word, but 15 years until yourself you want to go. That tell God, now I'm ready to go. Do you know Paul was waiting? Paul was waiting. I said, I finished my course. I was just waiting. The time to go. He knew that he's going to go. Normally, every Christian, he could know when he's going to go. That everything, all portal walls, is able to level them before he leaves. Can you change God's statement? When you are not able to change the devil's statement, the devil says you are going to remain sick. And you still sick. But you have no power in you. You know that? You have no power in you. But that God is the one who holds life of everyone. But Ezekiel is able to challenge God's statement. He said, no, I'm not going to die. And he gave the reason why he's not going to die. Now you, why do you want to go to extend your days? Hello? Okay, maybe I'm not talking to the people. Let me ask the people on television. Because there's no one is here. Viewer all over the world. Why you want to go to stand your days? 
So far, the few days has given you what have you done for him? Ezekiel did not wait for the days to be extended. He was doing it before he get an extension. <laughs> so far, what have you done? For your normal days. Eh, for the first contract. Is it? For the first contract. What have you achieved? For God. Before. You inquire, inquire. Extension. Because what Ezekiel. Was get. Was any extension. After his days were finished. God extend his days. Do you want any extension? Ah. <laughs> Do you want any extension? Are you sure? For what for? What about the few days that you've gained? How have you used it? How have you those days. This is the first question. I mean, even in the company, I mean, you people work in the companies, they only extend your contract if you've done a well. Is it? It's not like that. God also is asking what have you done for the first contract before extend another one. Do what do you want to leave? That's going to put people in trouble. <laughs> Are you getting there? What have you done for the contract that we have that is about to end? What have you done so far? How many lives of people have changed? How many people still praying for you because if not you, they could not be where they are. They could not receive where they have received. They could not reach where they have reached. How many people? If you take your children to school, that is a command. If you buy your wife new clothes, it's a command. Because you yourself you invited them in your life. help me as a poor God Mark when you give to someone who don't expect anything in return that God look unto, that God marks that he remain in the bank how many life of people have changed I told you when I was stuck in Kenya recently from DRC, my card did not work. The only nine dollar, nine, nine dollar is less than hundred pula. Uh, I mean, so I'm a client to Kenya Airway, they refused to give me nine dollar, less than hundred pula. Now I must stuck there just for less than hundred pula. I was having Pula, I tried to change, they don't change. They want to swap my card, my card say no. I say, okay, I will remain here. But I was sitting next to somebody who does not share the same faith than he, like me. The person take hundred dollars. With no asking, I did not even know. He take hundred dollars, he give it to me. I was thinking he's giving me nine dollars that I can pay but after when they give me the, the change I want to give me the 91 dollar he said no way you are a man of God go and use it for God's work that the time you people are waiting for me on Sunday if not that man you could not see me on Sunday <clears throat> what the meaning 
That money was in my bank. He sent a Muslim to give me the money. Now, you who can give you even one pula? Even, in, I mean, you have seen yourself even in the combi when you don't have one table. I mean, the combi, I mean, the conductor will beat you up. No one can help you to give one table because you have no bank. You know that? Can you know that? Because you have no bank, you, know, you have no reserve. But the more you do good, more you are putting in the bank. When emergence comes, God brings it up. Don't be surprised when you are in trouble, somebody comes to rescue you. No. It's yours who were put in the bank a long time ago. But when a need came, God take him out to rescue you. <laughs> Hallelujah. You don't understand. Believe me, all the emergency problem you encounter, when you see somebody come to rescue you, is not that person. Is what you have put in the bank there. And God will instruct. Even the person you have seen, somebody can help you. You don't, know, you don't even expect that that person can help you. Is a God instruction. Can you hear me? Is a God eh? instruction. We will instruct. You say go and help that person. Because why I went to the office of Kenya Airway when that time, the only trip, or only three, me, that old man, a Muslim, and his wife, three people only. And I reach, even I find them there. And I don't know why they delay. And they save me first. And God tell the man, he asked his man, because I not know the language you're saying, he asked his wife to give him money. I was sitting next to him. I see him carrying the money. And after that, he just passed on to me. Thank God I know all the language of the world. When I reached there, I found him sitting there. Abariak Muse. You, you cannot even greet people. You say. Even in Dumela, you can't. But me, I say, Abariak Muse. What the meaning? Uh, elder, how are you? Are you getting there? And that how are you, God told me, you must help this man. <laughs> Hallelujah. We need to work for God. It doesn't mean to work for God you must come to stand here preaching the gospel. Even many people stand there, they're not doing God's work. They're doing their own work. Working for God is look after the needy. The people who are rejected. The people who cannot afford. These are the people we need to look after. Can you hear me? This is your bank. This is your, this is your bank. If you give to your family member, it's not a bank. The only closer to you because you have. If you don't have, your family member will run away from you. You know that? You know that? But what you are giving to people passing by who have nothing is more than what you are giving to your family members. I mean, I left my family member more than 20 years. But, I mean, I'm fine. Because God brought people next to me. You are afraid to go out is because we have no bank. But those who have bank, they can go anywhere. Because they knew wherever they go, God is there. You know that? Wherever you go, God is there, is there. Wherever you go, God is there. When you know God is there, you don't need to carry anything. Just to carry your body. God will provide. I mean, 
my sister there, I did not know his brother-in-law. He's a white man. But God, when he knew I'm here, he put me in the life of this man. He took care of me in that period to push me to another level. And that one, somebody will take me to push me to another level. This is the way God does. He brings people in your way. That one take you from the point A, he take you to B. Another one take you from B, he take you to C. Another one take you to C, he take you to D. This is the way God operates. But you also, as they're pushing you, push others. But you, every time when they push you, you kick the ladder. Ah. Are you getting there? You don't want other people to join you there. Wrong attitude. That when you come there, you're up there, you stuck. There's no way to come down because you have kicked the, the ladder. We want to pray. If Ezekiel can be able to change God's statement, Ezekiel did not do anything. Ezekiel is on every a heart open to God. The same way, if you your heart is open to God, you can do like Ezekiel did. He did not need, Ezekiel did not need a prophet. You've seen the scenario. Ezekiel did not need a, a prophet. He only, he himself, he knew the relation, and he built himself, he knew what he laid down. He said, prophet, thank you very much for the message, because I cannot hear from God. I was thinking when you come here, you are going to tell me that you are going to heal me. But you came to tell me I'm going to die. Thank you. But he left the prophet to go. And he himself is able to talk to God. Everyone here can be able to talk to God. <clears throat> Do you know that? Do you believe that? Everyone here, even those passing by, they are able to talk to what the meaning? God is our father. There's no, you don't need any intermediator to talk to God. Time of Moses is over. You, you have the power. You can talk to God face to face like Ezekiel did. But where are you going to find him? That is the question. Hello? We are going to find God. Like I ask a question. Ezekiel ask God to extend his days. Is it? Ask God to extend his day. Now, why do you want your days to be extended? Hello? Okay, you, why do you want to be rich? Huh? Because I know that is your aim, is it? That is your aim, is it? You want to be a successful woman, a successful man. That is your aim, is it? Why? Huh? Ah, you don't want, why do you want to be rich? You don't know why you want to be rich. Why, okay, why do you want to be a successful? Huh? Youth. You don't want to be successful. Look, even this one is wearing even a big uh, chain to tie to uh, people, the demon. Eh? Why you want to be rich? Eh, you? Though you want to be poor. You want to be poor. You want to be rich. Are you sure? For what for? That you can start walking another leg on top, another leg on down. You start walking like this. You only buy a car with uh, two, I mean, two wheels only. It will only drive like this. Is it? Huh? We must wake up now. We need to bank our life. We need to bank our we need to bank our life. We need to bank our life. 
We need to bank our life. If you do so, the little one you have, bank it. More you bank the little one, more God will trust you to the bigger one. And the end of the day, before you wake up, you become bigger than what you're expecting. It's because of the sick of other that cannot afford. God can only make you rich when he knew through you people can get there saved. People can get there blessed. I mean, I told you, I have 30 ton beans behind here. I did not know even who sent them. A businessman, one day he wake up, he tell his driver, carry these beans, take them there to WCCs. And I called him myself. I said, why do you bring these beans? He said, yes, I've seen on television that you are doing it, that I decided to give it to you because me, I don't know where to take it. But you, I know if I give it to you, you know to take them. That he told me, is me called him by force. I said, I want to see you. And he came last week. He said to me, I did not know where to take them, but I've seen on television what you are doing, that moved me to give it to you. This only way you, you can make a difference to others. You are going to see on television, you have seen recent what you have done in the others. We are still going to do. I did not go because where I come from. No. Only I go where God told me to go. We are still suffering is because we don't know God principles. Can you hear me? We don't know God eh? principles. When we discover God principles, I mean, the people who have built the church have known. Every time when we're stuck, they will see something comes and they take the church to another level. You, not, you did not see it. You saw it. This is the way we finish the church. Every time one will come, we stuck. I will tell God, uh -uh, now you are a fellow. I throw God stones. I say, and now you are a fellow. How can you start a church that cannot finish? And you see, we'll send someone to come and push it to another level. Until now, we're in. You, you need to start banking. You need to put something in reserve. That the day of emergence comes. You don't need to inquire. It will drop from heaven to rescue you. You know that? Huh? It will drop from heaven to rescue you. Your good deed, you are not waiting to heaven. Your reward is going to get it from here. Before you die, you still harvest it. You know that? You don't believe that? Before you die, you will start eh, harvesting. Where have you planted? Where, where is your field? Oh, you want to reap where you never sow. They are going to arrest you. You are going to become a thief. Can you hear me? You cannot reap where you never sow. You can't. We want to pray. We want to pray. We want to pray. If you are doing good, don't stop doing good. If you never receive a miracle, continue to do it. Your time is coming. What is it?
the meaning. God is waiting. The time when it be really dry. That the time God shows himself how big he is. I mean, it happened. When in Kenya, I did not know anybody. I mean, even when I say to people to send me $9. I mean, it was Saturday and Sunday. There's no Western Union where they could not get the money. And I was inside the airport. I could not go out. Stranded. But my heavenly bank released. Even I have money to drink, even the coffee. We want to pray. Said your neighbor, we want to pray. Now ask him, what is going to be your prayer? Is it the prayer of Ezekiel? Huh? Is the prayer of Ezekiel? Are you sure? What for? <laughs> Remember me, Lord. Now, remember you for what for? Hello? Can I, this time, there's no way you can lie. It's God knows what you have done. You can lie to Prophet Justin, but God knows what you have done. I don't know. You and your God. I don't know his prayer you are going to pray today. Maybe you're going to say, God, give me the grace that I can start banking. I mean, it's too late. What we have been doing all along? What have we doing all along? Christianity is about doing good. Say to your neighbor, 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 Christianity is all about doing good. Not carrying the Bible. <laughs> People think Christianity is a kereke. Huh? Christianity is not carrying the Bible. Christianity is actions. Deed. Works. Your works will speak for you. Ezekiah, his works speak for him. Who want to pray? I know, I mean, the devil is very smart. If he does not give you physical sickness, he gives you financial sickness. If it does not give you financial sickness, it gives you emotional sickness. If it does not give you emotional sickness, it gives you spiritual sickness. Though any area that can be able to trap you will trap you. It's very smart. Very smart, the devil. Who want to pray? Are you able to say to God to remember you? Uh -uh. Why are you saying yes? Why are you lying to yourself? Uh -huh. Do you have a bank in heaven? I see people say, hmm. <laughs> Hallelujah. Do you have a bank in heaven? Hey, your yes is very weak. <laughs> you see even here I see young people even other who comes here they'll spend the whole day here working and you think like these people that are working that expecting anything but tomorrow morning you see them they come again their own transport, their own time. And I 
I say yes, these people have the revelation. It's not if you want to work for God, only must make money. Your time, your hand, can still work for God. Can you hear me? I mean, this building is too big. I cannot sweep it, me and my wife. It's too big. But some people devote themselves. Even I found men, women, I don't know where they are. Eh? The church this day, I see men who sweeping the church and I mean mopping, arranging church. With the church that are sitting there, men. They are busy at work. They will leave the work, they come and come arrange the church and they go back to work. When women, they still there waiting. Kinale Matata. Who is going to solve Matata? You don't know even just arranging a chair here. Your matata can finish. <laughs> just mopping here, your sickness can go. Ask them. The many people receive a lot of miracles. Just coming here, I was having a big group here. When we were weeding here, most of them they do not have jobs. But before we finish the way, all of them have jobs now. They've gone to work. There's no way you cannot do, there's no way you do God work and don't receive a reward. Never. But you, you only need to come on Sunday. Like when that Wednesday are not here, hey, all, my, I mean, my people are having in trouble. They are found one bust. Hey, Ukai Muruti. Ukai Muruti. Muruti is not going to come to the service. Hey. You are not coming here for me. You come for yourself. I'm there. I'm not there. Come and uh, pray. This house was not made for me. Come here. And come and pray. Is it? Who want to pray? I know most of us were in trouble. Is it? Most of us are in trouble. Is it? Swa. <laughs> Hallelujah. But because, I mean, what I'm going to tell God is not me is going to give you the answer. It's you to tell God to remember you. Now he's going to ask you, want me to remember you for what for? Are you getting there? Is what God does, He does not give you a lot. It starts by small. When you know how to utilize the small, it increases slowly and surely. But if a day is going to be the call abundance, it becomes too much. I tell you a secret. When I started giving just in this country, I would tell the people that I know, if you have some clothes that you don't use, give it to me. If you have some shoes that you don't use, give it to me. I collect them and I have in my car. The car is still there behind the museum. It's there. I will collect, collect a lot. Me and my wife, two of us. My wife is a photographer. When I'm giving my wife, she's getting me pictures. She's getting me pictures. She's getting me pictures. Now, I'm not taking it. Second, I give things to people brand new from the plastic. If you are waiting, that can have a lot. Before you start, you will wait and wait and wait. Start for what you have now. Can you hear me? Start what you have eh? now. Who want to pray? How are you?
vai usar do mera gabata kubong you see that even I came to see my father here you are together yes my father is not sleeping yes even turning like this hey true he turned painful the whole body yes the pain will start from here goes down like there's a, I mean, there's something burning. Yes. Huh? Yes. What is it? He had stroke on the 13th of June. Even now he cannot speak. So he can't sleep at night. Mm. Mm. I mean, this God told me. I don't know him. I never meet him. I don't know him. I never meet him, but when I was passing, God said, this is the problem of the father. Cannot see it. During the day, a little bit okay, but during the night, the pain will start from here. The whole, he cannot be in turn. I think we have to turn him. Yeah, he sleep on one side. He sleep on one side. Yeah. That is a punishment. Don't worry. Register him in the prayer line. Sunday, we are going to do the surgery. It's going to be fine. Okay. Tomorrow, register him in the prayer line. God is going to heal him. Okay? We are leaving to South Africa tomorrow. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I know you love medical doctors. I know you love them. I know you love medical doctors. I don't know going for medical uh, checkups. We are going for the funeral. Ah, ah. Yes. Leave them people to bury themselves. Ah, look. But you are about to be so tired. Ma, leave the father to remain and uh, God may take care of him. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Thank you. See? Thank you. Somebody's not well, he's going to be. Hallelujah. You, you see, when God is talking, then to value God, all his mind, he say, No, I'm going to the funeral. When to wait, what God is saying about his situation. Yes, madam, how are you? You are fine. Mm. Only the smile tells us you are fine. But the inside, you are not. Yes, man of God. Mm. You are blaming all the men all over the world. Yes, man of God. <laughs> Including me. No man of God. Ah, can I have a man also? <laughs> ah, my sister. Yes, man. Those men they have no problem. Yes, man. The problem comes from the source. Yes, man. Mm. I mean, regardless how good you do to men, yes, man. disappointment comes. Yes, man of God. You think the man is the one disappointing you? Yes, man of God. No. The speed that is in you, that brings disappointment. Yes, man of God. Can you hear me? Yes, man of God. After your deliverance, God is going to make a way for you. Yes, man of God. Okay? Thank you very much. Thank you. Don't shut your door. I know one, two, three... 
I don't want to count more than that, but I know. But you cannot shut the door. What I told you, that is a problem. Yes, my sister in Ray. Yes. How are you? Who, where is the man came of you? Uh, can I say he's a man that came of you? He's your husband, is it? Yes. Uh, when I say, where is the man came of you? That's where is your husband? Can he's a man? Sir, how are you? I'm good, sir. You are good. Yeah. Mm. Can you forgive this woman? Yes, sir. Can you forgive him? Yes, sir. Mm. Don't be afraid. I know what is going on in your family. I know what is going on in your family. When this man, woman start talking, you have no way to say. You just keep quiet. Yes, sir. Yes. It's not him. You see, when one is angry, you can see like, I mean, you can see yourself that is not her. She's bowling. Yes, sir. You know that? Yes. Sir. Don't worry. That small spirit is under arrest now. She's not the one. It's the spirit that is in her. In her. After deliverance, you are going to enjoy it, Suma. Yes, that sir. I told you, forgive her. She's not the one. Okay? She's not the one. She's not the one. She's a good woman, but when the spirit comes, I mean, when you start talking yourself, you say, hey, you're afraid. Even it's two of you, only two of you in the room, I say, you, I mean, you can even try to fly under, uh, on the roof. Don't worry. I mean, Sunday will finalize your problem. Yes, sir. Okay? Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. So, I mean, this is the way uh, we are here to bring harmony. You know harmony? To bring peace. We are not here throwing stones. We are here that peace must come. Are you getting there? Many men, even now I have many men, they don't want to get married. There are many. They are afraid women. But I'm going to deliver them. Many men, that's why. I have many of them. I mean, my bank of men, I have many men in my bank. They are afraid to get married because of the behavior. But don't worry, I'm going to give you those who are already delivered. Don't worry about it. We're going to do the work very well, and after that, we can give it to you. We want to pray. Are you ready to pray? Are you ready to pray? Are you able to say to Ezekiel, like Ezekiel did, remember me? Are you able to say, remember me? That are going to be our prayer tonight. If your case is not be pointed, you must know your case is easy. Sir, how are you? Yes. You came with your wife? Okay. How are you, madam? Huh? I'm fine. Mm, you are fine. You see, this life, you cannot able to dictate it. It's only God that moves the life. You know that? Yes, my mother. Huh? Yes. You people, before marriage, everything was very smooth. But after marriage, things become a challenge. Why? Yeah? Hey, madam. I'm asking you because you are the premier minister. <laughs> you do not know the premier minister. Is the one control finances. Down control. You know that? Why? Because many times this man cannot sleep. You have seen it before? Yes. Huh? Yes, my mother. He's thinking. Sometimes man does not talk, doesn't want to say anything. He's thinking. So why you don't want to sleep? Huh? I don't know. You don't know? Yes. 
You cannot direct life until God direct it for you. Can you hear me? Yes. You know, many of us who have a resolution. In this age, I'm going to do this. In this age, I'm going to do this. In this age, I'm going to do this. But forgetting that there's somebody who must involve that can happen. Most of the time, we forget God. It's only him knows what is going to happen tomorrow. And when it does not happen, people start blaming each other. <laughs> Don't worry. God is going to rescue this marriage. I'm going to, today I don't want to touch you because if I start touching you, other people are going to go to work tomorrow. We don't want them to delay. Sunday, we are going to finalize your problem. Come back. Okay? okay? Thank you. Who want to pray? Yes, I'm coming back to this young lady. You. I came back to you. Rise up. The spirit in you. Yes, man of God. The vacabond spirit. You know what the meaning vacabond spirit? You, you don't stay in one place. You know I'm speaking in a parable. If you're not delivered, your future is going to be very, very challenging. You started a life very well, very intelligent. But distraction has come in. If God does not rescue you, trouble. What you need? Seek for deliverance. And after that, look a big chain and a big padlock. Lock. Until God opens. Thank you. Yes, man of God. We have many young people have very potential life, but distraction divert them. How are you, sir? Rise up, you are tired. Huh? Is you brought this lady? Yes, sir. I'm with her. Huh? She's with me. Why did you bring her here? No, we, we are here together. We always come here. You are coming together? Yes. Okay. How are you, madam? I'm fine, sir. Why are you following this man? I'm not following him. Is him following you? We are following each other. follow him and he follow you. Yes, sir. This man in the crossroad, you know the meaning crossroad? No, sir. He does not know to decide. Can I marry this woman? Can I leave her? I don't know. This man. Can I marry this woman? Can I leave, la, leave her? This man. Answer me. <laughs> I want to marry, sir. You want to marry? Yes, sir. When? You are but not yet sure. I'm not sure when, but I want to marry her. You always see this lady time. A man want to marry a woman. I have my wife there. Only one month I married her. A man want to marry a woman. You don't need to check, 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 check. Believe me. If you don't close your eyes. You will never marry. There's no one is perfect in this world. No one is there perfect in this world. Is 
you to make things to become perfect. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes, sir. To tell you, if we wait, uh, if we wait another year, this lady will go. And I think you know it very well. Sir, come again. If you wait again another year, this lady will go. Okay, sir. I'll marry her soon. <laughs> you, you know, he doesn't understand, he doesn't understand women like uh, in the market. You are holding him, but another eye is looking another side. When you see, yeah, he does not work before you realize they jump another bus. It's gone. Only one thing makes them to afraid because you have make him to afraid I'm going to kill you. If not, ah, even today you can say you're wasting my time. Believe me. But the power is here when you enter here, no one is going to kill you. Yabu Adilo. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Who want to pray? Time is gone. Time is gone. Time is gone. Who want to pray? Uh, we only talk about things that is, I mean, that we see is a danger. We talk about it. Your problem is very small. God is going to make it. Why are you doing like this? Because I did not talk to you. Don't go for prophecy. Your problem, let me talk to you. Your problem, <laughs> he knows a problem. A problem, quack, quack, quack. What about I? Can I want to come here? We are, I mean, we can be talking from the corner to the corner, but only choose, I mean, those problems we see. Is, you are getting there. Your problem, you, I mean, first of all, you don't trust yourself. Listen to me. Choose God and one God. Your life will change. Okay. Can you hear me? Yes. Huh? Yes. Choose God and there, one, one God. God. And your problem will change. change. Sit down. I already talked to you. Your problem is solved already. <laughs> I know people are here, you don't want us because stay long. We don't stay long. It's about the problem that comes every day that we have to look after. There are some people when they come here, if we don't able to talk to them, when they live there, here, they go and die. Are you getting there? So that we need to settle the matter that the devil cannot get the advantage. Are you getting there? But if your problem, we could not talk about it, that shows, I mean, you are still able to push. Are you getting there? You are able to still there? Eh? I mean, until you get a limit. Okay? I know there's a sister here. I mean, now you have decided to leave your husband. You have decided. Now, I mean, you have forgiven, forgiven, forgiven. Now this time, ah, let him live his own life. I want to live my own life. I want to join you. Come oh. forward. Quickly. Juanale Neha. O sa lu tsaretse monna ga go mo le bakene le hitileng e bile o tsaretse tswa gore o batla go khabagana lene ema ha pele modimo o batla go golola. This time you have decided. Yes. 
pastor have decided you have decided mm-hmm. you want me to join you with your decision I don't know but I have already I have already used picked my bags I wanted to go even today but do you wanted to go today you already pack your bags mm-hmm. clap for the lord You see this the this this the one this the matter we are looking for. Really she is tired. She is uh, tired. This lady she still a young woman. She's not old. This is a young woman. She's not old. But stress stress uh, I don't agree you to go because of some responsibility only you can help that man no one else I know you are forgiven but Jesus said forgive seven, seven times Seven, seven times. How many times you are forgiven? Many times, Pastor. Huh? Many times. Have you reached seven, seven times? Not yet. You are not going until you reach seven, seven times. Go back to your husband's house. And pack your bags. You devil, come out! 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 Go! 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 I say go! Leave her! You spirit troubling this woman. Come out! In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Out! I say go! Go! I say go! Leave her! Go! This body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. Let the fire enter all over your body. Fire all over your body. Fire all over your body. Fire all over your body. Go! Go! Thank you. Hey, leave is not yours. Glory be to God for that wonderful deliverance. We just heard a prophecy from the man of God that there's a lady here who's already made up her mind to leave her husband. The lady came forth and now she has been declared free. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. Come. I brought this bottle for you. Go to pick it. Take it. Carry it. Can you see? Get <laughs> 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 ah. this bottle, is yours. Carry it. Get that bottle, it's yours. If you get it, your husband is going to stay home. Get this bottle, it's yours. I brought it for you. Now you have learned the matter where he is. You have seen the matter where it is. She's not the one. Even what the husband is doing. Is the devil making the husband to behave like that? That the lady to suffer. Don't go. This bottle must go for you. I brought it for you. Take that bottle. Take it. I said, take the bottle.
This is your husband. Take the bottle. When you go with the bottle home, your husband is going to come back home. Take it. Viewer all over the world. Your trouble is very small to Jesus. Jesus, friend. Are you still going? No, prophet. You are not going going again. Thank you. Go back, unpack, and put things wherever it was. Hallelujah. Can you see why God brought us? Can you see why God brought us? She was finished. I mean, she tried whatever she could. She was, I mean, I mean, she's there, she has nothing, she does not work, but because of that, she just tried to stay in the street. How the devil pushed us in a tight corner. Can you see how the devil pushed us in a tight corner? If this matter could not be addressed, this, our sister, could suffer more than why he's suffering. But from today, the problem is solved in Jesus' name. Our solution is only in Jesus. Can you hear me? Our solution is only in him. Viewer all over the world, our solution is only in Jesus. No one can solve our problem. You come to Jesus, you come to the solution. You run away from Jesus, you run away from the solution. From today, decide to go to Jesus. Your life will never be the same in Jesus' name. Rise up from our feet. Rise up from our feet. You see, the devil is helping us to make wrong decisions. The devil is helping us to make a wrong decision. You see, because of Ezekiel was having any encounter with Jesus himself, even when the prophet told him, set your house in order you shall die he did not call the prophet to pray for him he knew where God was hiding in his life he's able to go and meet God and talk to him it did not take a day to receive the answer the same minute he talked to God the same minute he received the answer I don't know what is your problem. And I don't know how long you'll be in that problem. But what I know, Jesus. Jesus is the answer. Jesus is there. Jesus is the answer. Jesus is the answer. My sister here, he did not know what pushing me. He said, I've packed everything already. I wanted to go today, but something told me, let me go to church first, that I can go tomorrow. But in the last minute, Jesus appeared to him. If you knew in the last minute, Jesus is going to appear to you. I don't know what is your problem. I don't know what brought you here tonight. You see, so far what I know, the prophecy God has put in me, when we speak a prophecy, solution comes. Are you getting there? 
You see, this is a prophecy. This is a prophecy. Just the same lady say, I'm leaving, I'm tired. The same lady changed the statement, I'm not going. Though I know you also have that kind of situation. You are tired. I mean, you have given up. Thank God have come here tonight. Your problem is going to be solved. Your problem is going to be raise up your hand. As you raise a hand, you raise up your heart and the arm of the spirit. Now raise up your hand. You raise up your heart toward Jesus. Toward Jesus. Toward Jesus. Jesus is happening already. It's happening already. It's happening already. Toward Jesus. It's happening everywhere. Toward Jesus. It's happening everywhere. Toward Jesus. Look there. Look there. Look there. Look there. Help there. Toward Jesus. Toward Jesus. Look there, behind there, behind you. It's happening already. Toward Jesus. Toward Jesus. Toward Jesus. Raise up your heart. Viewer all over the world. Raise up your hand and raise up your heart. Toward Jesus. Ezekiel was in last day but because of the relationship of Jesus Jesus extended his days even you I don't know what you are going through but what I know Jesus is going to stand your days tonight everywhere. It's happening everywhere. It's happening everywhere right now. Toward Jesus. Toward Jesus. Toward Jesus. Toward Jesus. Toward Jesus. Yes. 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 What is your problem? Are you in the last days? Are you in the last days? Are you in the last days? Are you finished? There's nothing to talk about it. There's nothing to do. There's no way to go. The report of the doctors come. There's nothing they can do. Jesus is still saying something. Jesus still says something. Jesus still says something. Jesus still says something. Jesus <laughs> Jesus, there's something. 
Yes. 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 Boys. Jesus. 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 Are you tired? Are you tired? Are you tired for life? Are you tired about that job? Come. We're not only praying for people here. Are you tired about that job? Are you tired about your career? Are you tired about that marriage? Are you tired about your children? Are you tired about this parent? Are you tired about life? Nothing's going on. Jesus will remember you tonight. 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 Remember you tonight. <laughs> Everywhere. Look at this man. Look at this man. Look at this man. This man here in the blue. <laughs> He's up and everywhere. He's up and everywhere. Look there. Look there. Look there. Everywhere. Everywhere. Look at that one. He's going there. Everywhere. Everywhere. Look there. Look. 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 Jesus. 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 Look at yeah, this man. Look at this man. Look at this man there. Look at this man. You don't see the people. <laughs> Look at this one. Look at this one. Let them go. Yes. Raise up your hand. Raise up your hand. Raise up your hand. Viewer all over the world. <laughs> Are you tired about that marriage? Are you tired about that job? Are you tired about that career? Are you tired about your children? Are you tired about life? Jesus is not give up on you. Jesus is not give up on you. What medical doctor you are carrying? What the report of the medical doctor say? Jesus, this says something. Is <laughs> remember you tonight. He's remembering you tonight. He's remembering you tonight. He's remembering you tonight. <laughs> yes. Are you tired about education? Are you tired about this education? Are you tired about life? Are you tired about life? Jesus is passing by. By your marriage by your situation by your health by your career by your business by your job is passing by <laughs> yes 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 Yes! Jesus! 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 Christ of Nazareth! He is passing by! Yes! Yes! Move! Yes! Yes. That power.
power raised Jesus Christ from the dead is empowering everybody now. Everyone is in last days. Everyone is last days. We are empowered today. Let God remember you. Like you remember Ezekiel. Let God remember you. Like you remember Ezekiel. Receive life. 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 Receive. Move. Any snack, any snack in the form of spiritual husband, any snack in the form of spiritual husband, look there, any snack in the form of spiritual husband. Any snack in the form of spiritual wife. Any snack in the form of spiritual wife. Any snack and spiritual husband. <laughs> Look there. Yes. Standing next to you, don't understand what is going on. <laughs> Any snack in the form of spiritual husband. Any snack in the form of spiritual husband. Any snack in the form of spiritual wife. Receive fire tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> Is happening there. Is happening there. Is happening here. Is happening there. <laughs> now, touch your feeling pain. Do you are all over the world. Touch where you are feeling pain. If you have depression, touch your heart. The power that added the years to Ezekiel. That power is here now. That power is being invested in Blessing TV. 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 High command. Any sickness, disease, any infirmity, any dry bone, any demonic power, any evil spirit, any contra spirit that troubling your life. High command in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Catch fire. <laughs> 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 Fires entered everywhere. The fires entered everywhere. He is taking place right now. 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 Foes, he is taking place right now. Look there. Look here. Look behind you. Look there. Look there. Even this man. Look at this woman. He is taking place. He is taking place in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He is taking place. He is taking place. <laughs> Can it be your stomach catch fire? Can it be your system catch fire? Can it be in your head? Can it be in your membrane? Can it be wherever it is? The sickness is hiding. Receive fire. Yes. 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 
Yes! 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 Glory be to God. Yes! Healing is taking place. Healing is taking place. Healing is taking place. Healing is taking place. Healing is taking place right now. Healing is taking place. Healing is taking place. Can it be whatever you're hiding? Receive fire! Receive fire! Receive fire! Receive fire! Receive fire! Receive fire! Glory be to God. Say thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus. Look at this one. Look at this one. Look at this one. Look. <laughs> Tell her to bring back. Bring her back here. Where are you going? The fire is there where you are going. <laughs> Angel Shamboka! Look. Where should you go for me, President? You see the angel? You see? You see? <laughs> yes! Playing game, what to have here? Especially at these days, hey, the way bridge is there, where they're going to weigh you. No, there's no way you can hide. Rise up, you're free. She's free. Rise up. Mm, there's no way you can go. Yeah, <laughs> security is very tense. Can you see? Camera. Thank you, Lord. Oh. Where you wanted to go? Thank you, Jesus. You wanted to run away? No. Ah. Why did you go outside? You don't remember you went outside? You, you don't remember you went outside? I came to church. You came to church? Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. The church has delivered you. Are you getting there? Everyone is sitting down. Rise up, you are free. Rise up, rise up, rise up, rise up. The Lord has delivered you, you are free. <laughs> Go to your place. You see people dressing very well. They do not know that. Uh, <laughs> That again. Ah. Huh? Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> I cannot even hear. Okay. Jesus. Don't worry. That time is over. They must leave you. Raise up your hand. Say thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus. Lord Jesus, come to my life. Forgive me all my sins. Wash me by your precious blood. Save my soul tonight. Be my redeemer. Be my savior, be my deliverer, be my Lord. By your blood, I'm saved. By your blood, I'm delivered. By your blood, I'm healed. By your blood, I'm overcomer of this world. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.
saving my soul. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Bring that this one before you cannot leave them like that. Bring them quickly. Bring them. What happened? Yeah? Why are you troubling this young lady? Yeah? Who are you? Yeah? Who are you? Speak. Don't waste our time because we want to go. Who are you? Yeah? Look here. Look this face. Look. Look. You know this face? Look here and go. 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 Thank you. It's free. Bring that one. This evening is praying Hosanna. Mm. Rise up, you are free. Look here. Who are you? Huh? Who are you? Huh? You cannot talk. Okay, open your eyes. Look here. You see? Thank you. It's free. Go. Rise up, you're free. Rise up, you're free. Go to your seat. She's free. <laughs> Mama, rise up, you're free. Go back to your seat. Ah, you're playing game. Bring him here. Bring him quickly. Look here. What have you done to the eyes of this lady? Look here. Look at me. Look at me. What have you done to the eyes of this lady? Look here. You are playing game. Who are you? Huh? Who are you? Look here. Look here. Open your eyes. Look. I said open your eyes. Look here. Look here. Open your eyes. I say open your eyes. Open your eyes. Open. Look. You have seen. Okay. Thank you. It's free. <laughs> you have seen. I only have one. I go to all the demons all over the world. Just look at them. Look, 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 look. Rise up, you're free. Look. She's free. Can you see? Only one. Only one I can move in all over the world. Now, just look, 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 look. Hallelujah. Yes, let us show for the people. Okay, look. Viewer all over the world, look it. Look in your eyes. Look at it very well. Let every demon that troubling you receive fire. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. This is the power Ezekiel had. Now today, that power be invested on you. In Jesus' name. <laughs> Say to your neighbor, it is well. 
Say to your neighbor, it is well. And tell them, don't miss on Sunday. God will remember you. In Jesus' name. Amen.